This man found Wall Street bets completely by accident. He goes by the name of Tattoo Trader and read a Reddit article that said meteorite mining would become a $50 trillion industry. With money like that, you know that only Wall Street bets degenerates would start drooling out the side of their mouths. Hey, that's pretty good. But this story has a silver lining after all. Tattoo Trader, having owned securities his entire life, asked, well, how do you invest in it? He wanted to get in the industry before it boomed, but the reply he got was, well, I found the idiot from Wall Street Bets. After looking up the Reddit thread back in 2019, he learned about options trading and all of the other like-minded intelligent traders that were making mountains of cash for one hour work per week in the comfort of, nah, <laughs> who are we kidding? He read some posts from the degenerates at Wall Street Bets and then went to invest all of his money buying out of the money calls on something called Purple Mattress Company. Remember, this was during 2020. The US was pumping a lot of cash back into the economy and stocks started soaring. Free money was injected into the system. And of course, Tattoo Trader's 10,000 position grew to $30,000 and then $40,000. Every day he woke up and checked his Robinhood account and he saw his stocks were going up. A smart person would think it's wise to cash out after four timesing their investment in a couple of months. But not Wall Street bets traders. These people are going for multi-million dollar gains, possibly a billion. So Tattoo Trader did what any sane Wall Street bet trader would do. He told everyone he knew, from his co-workers to the superintendent at work, to mortgage their house and put all their life savings into Purple Mattress Company. He finally found the holy grail. If he can make money, everyone can make money. After all, trading is easy, right? Yes. <laughs> I don't drive anything less than a Lamborghini. What do I look like, a peasant? Instead of taking slow earnings, Tattoo Trader was going to forego all of that and then cash out for the Rolex and the Lambo. Because how could you possibly lose a single dollar trading out of the money call options? There's no way. So one morning after waking up, he realized that his Lambo would only be a dream. He lost about $7,000 on the trade and his $40,000 position was now reduced to $3,000. And that, dear people, is how Wall Street bets traders make money. They can take a ton of money and turn themselves from decamillionaires to millionaires. If they're persistent, they can smash that like button just like you should do if you haven't done so already. <laughs> but no, in all seriousness, with persistence and dedication, they can take that million and turn it into $100,000 in a matter of seconds. And it all started with Jamie Rogozinski, a Reddit user who went by the name of Jartek. He created Wall Street Bets back in 2012 and has become somewhat of a god on the platform. He then posted a book related to the sub and has been suspected of monetizing the subreddit he created, coming against the guidelines and regulations set by Reddit. Some of the people didn't like this, so they reported him to Reddit and he has since been banned from the Reddit he himself created. Now, it's presumed that he goes by other aliases like Stormwell Pass, Wall Street Bet God, and Aragold212855. That's because these Reddit profiles have been linked with promoting true trading game. But this is not where the story of Wall Street Bets ends. From 2019 until 2021, they were exploiting bugs in Robinhood's app to make free money, as they called it. But even with exploiting the app, they still helped them uncover some of the biggest bugs and fix them. So, in a way, they were the good guys. Well, hold on to that thought. A Reddit user by the name of Irony Man managed to use the app's box spreads. The box spreads combine the bull call and the bear put spread. Because of this, they are basically without risk, except for the assignment risk. That's the risk any trader takes on whenever he enters the market. And this assignment risk is exactly what messed up Irony Man in 2019. He started out with only $5,000 of his own money. Quickly, he managed to take $287,000 worth of options. Irony Man calculated that when the options expired, he would owe only $250,000, and he would make a cool $37,000 from this. It was free money, as they called it. It's free real estate. Well, that trader learned the meaning of assignment risk when some of the options were exercised against him. This created a loss for him in the amount of $60,000. But when you realize that he only had $5,000 invested and he now owed 57,000, 
That means he was down by an astounding 11 times his initial investment. So, did the man pay the money he owed? Well, after learning about this, Robinhood sent an email to all of its users saying that Wall Street will no longer be supporting box spreads on its platform. They realized there was a glitch in the system, a bug in the app, and they wanted to fix it before other traders from Wall Street Bets could exploit it. As for Irony Man, he managed to take out a cool $10,000 from the account before it got suspended. This translated to smashing that subscribe button just like you should do if you haven't already. <laughs> uh, but no, seriously now. It translated to doubling his initial investment in just a couple of months. And if we are to believe MarketWatch, then the remaining $47,000 from the money Irony Man owed was paid by Robinhood itself. So that's the end of the fiasco, right? Far from it, my friend. That same year, in November 2019, another user found a glitch in the system. His username was Control the Narrative, and he found another bug in their code. Namely, with just $2,000 of upfront capital, he managed to borrow $50,000. That's a leverage ratio of 25 to 1. The covered call, which Control the Narrative sold, made that $50,000 appear as liquid cash in his account. He then used these funds to buy put options on Apple stock. Did he make any money? No, the user lost all the money he invested and was now looking at a $46,000 negative balance. So what's the problem? The man will eventually pay for it, can't he? Well, there were some users who managed to get $1 million of free cash with only $4,000 deposit. Clearly, they could not exercise $1 million worth of put or call options with the leverage position they had. Even if these people sold all of their belongings, they could still not pay back the million dollars they owed. They might go to prison, but Robin Hood still has to fork over those million bucks to the people who exercise the options. Needless to say, after Control the Narrative uploaded a video of himself losing the $46,000 on Robin Hood, many other users tried to follow his master plan. Robinhood was quick to cancel the leverage option for their traders, seeing how they can go bankrupt if enough traders did the exact same thing. Since catching these sorts of trades, Robinhood has been actively monitoring the subreddit Wall Street Bets, hoping to find some schemes early on and prevent them from exploiting the platform. But that's not where it ends. At the beginning of 2021, just as the GameStop short squeeze was being exercised, Robinhood restricted trading options to their users. The following stocks, GameStop, AMC, BlackBerry, Limited, Nokia, and Cost Corporation were the main ones where the restrictions were imposed. Namely, the platform allowed their traders to sell shares of these companies, but they couldn't buy or trade them in any way, shape, or form. Why? Well, it's pretty clear why. But Robinhood said that they are going to restrict trading because some of the clearinghouses raised their collateral whenever Robinhood needed to execute trades for highly volatile stocks. This was an act of war. The community of Wall Street Bats traders was outraged. They immediately went to the App Store and the Play Store, and they started leaving abysmal one-star reviews for Robinhood. Eventually, by the end of January, the stock had a one-star rating. But thanks to Google, they managed to bump that up to a 2.2 star rating by January 30th. They deleted some of the insulting one star reviews, which improved the company only slightly. And then came the lawsuits against Robinhood, filed by none other than our friends at Wall Street Bets. And that's how you trade like a Wall Street Bets savage. Check out these videos next. <laughs>